Three things that can cause your elevation not to appear correctly in Revit. Let me go to site now. If I select this elevation marker and look closely, you will see that this line is actually behind the view. So try and move this line to where your elevation marker is. Let me click outside again and select this. So once you select your elevation marker like this, ensure that this line, this particular line, is in a position where it can view your elevation. Now, if I view that elevation now, assuming I, I double click on this place now, let me double click on this, you can see it is viewing the elevation correctly now. All right, let me go to another view again and show you example of this. If I select this elevation now, let me select this elevation. You will see that this is this line is supposed to be here. So if that line is there and you double click on it, double click on the arrow, you see that it is viewing the elevation correctly now. All right now, let's see another thing that can cause the elevation not to view correctly. If I move all, let me hide these things now to, so that it will allow me to select correctly. Let me hide all these things. Okay, now if I move this elevation marker. If I move it behind, if I put it here, you see, if I go to that elevation now, it will not be able to view the building because the building is behind it. This is where the elevation is pointing at. Can you see the arrow? The elevation is pointing here. So if I try to view it now, you see that it will not see the, the building. Okay. This is one of the things that can cause your elevation not to view correctly. All right. Let's go back to our floor plan again and move this elevation backward to where it's supposed to be. And anytime you are moving the elevation marker, make sure it is going along with that line i don't know the name i should call that line but if you select your elevation especially if you select the the arrow the point you see the line will appear okay so anytime you are moving it make sure that line follows it otherwise you may not be able to see your elevation correctly Okay, let me move it behind now. And for me to be sure that that line follows it, I need to select it. Okay, if I select it, you see that the line will show. Right? If I try to view it now, you see that it should view the building correctly now. Can you see now? It is viewing the building correctly now. Let's see the third thing that can cause your elevation not to view correctly. Let me, let me go to the site. And the reason I'm going to the site is that I have actually hidden those elevation marker in other views. If I go to my floor now, you can see I have hidden it here. So it's only on this site that I have not hidden it. That's why I love to go here. Anytime I want to work on the elevation markers right now let's look at the third thing that can cause you not to see your elevation correctly if i select this elevation marker now and i zoom out you see that the elevation is seen off 
to this point. You can see that the elevation is seen up to this point. What if I drag this line backward? What if I drag this line to somewhere here? The implication is that the elevation is only viewing to this point. It's not actually seeing the building. It's only seen to this extent. Now, let me see the elevation. Now, you see that it will not be able to see the building. Can you see that? It's not seeing the building any longer. So, for me to be able to see the building, I will need to select it and drag this to make sure it goes beyond the building. And what if I place it somewhere in the middle of the building? You see that you see that it will still not view it correctly. Let's try to view it. Okay. Though this is this is because this building is a contemporary design. Otherwise, if it is a hip roof, now you see that this roof part will not be correct. That is because it's not viewing everything. Okay, so if you actually want it to view everything, select it and know where this stops. Then drag it out until it covers the whole of your building. So these are the three things that can cause your elevation not to view correctly. I hope this solves your problems.